for okay then click to the run so now it uh, show me all of suggested vapor data where we can easily get it from the google earth engine data set so here you can see it show me about that uh, the water vapor earth engine data also you can see the vapor in earth engine so it suggested me different types of data suppose i want to work for the water vapor just click on the water vapor so now we check about the all of information about this data set so basically this is the ncr reanalysis data it's the water vapor and this data set is availability we can get the data from 1948 to 2024 okay so very long uh, first time we can easily get it from here the water vapor and this is the data and you can see about that this is the unit about that kg per meter square okay and this is the total column water vapor okay this resolution is not much good because you can see this pixel area is very very high okay so it's this is much good but we can get the data set very very long past time you can see about the all of discussion about the data set how they create this data okay so you can see about all of information suppose now i want to use this data and try to make the map and this data set is the globally available so that's why you can easily use it and make the water vapor map and it's available from oh. 1948 to 2024 very long time period you can easily get it yeah, yeah. Uh, mr so, rahman yeah mr. Rahman, i just, I just wanted, wanted to know, know i mean uh, the potential, potential evaporation uh, uh, data from this uh, this site like water productivity open access portal w a p o r yes do we do we have in the ge okay so let me check that it is available or not so is data w yeah, yeah w a p o w a p o r proper yeah. water product yeah, yeah water productivity open access portal a data set in g google i think we simply start on the google if it's available then we can easily use it from here also okay yeah see what about that now accessible yeah what about that now accessible from the art engine okay so this data set is now also available from art engine or part yeah so it also available so 250 meter yeah, resolution okay. It also high, yeah. So that's why you can easily get the more better result. So here you can see about that vapor net primary production, uh, daily evapotranspiration. Suppose I click on yeah, here. Yeah, that. Yeah, you can go there. Yeah. So it also available. Okay. Vapor oh, daily reference, yeah. evapotranspiration. Great. Yeah, yeah. So we can get the data from 2009 to 2023, 03 this time. Uh -huh. Okay. So can I can we prepare for this? Uh, Mr. Emma. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's easy. You can easily do it. So this is the data set. We can also use it and make the evapotranspiration. Yes, okay. okay, so just, I simply copy. And if you want, you can also use it the Python API or Google Earth Engine code editor. Both are the same. Okay, just I write the code in the uh, Python, uh, Google Earth Engine, JavaScript API. Yeah, Google Earth Engine, yes. Java. Okay. Okay, just paste here this uni uh, snippet ID and further mm -hmm. just take a variable. So I put the variable name is that uh, data set. Wow. You can write the name. Okay. okay. So now first of all, uh, this data set have a pen. Okay. So this pen we have to select. So just use at the select function, and then you can see about that uh, your data set pen. Data set pen. Here you can see about that this simply copy this band name and then further paste here okay and now uh, just put your time period so which time you want to observe this data so use at the filter date function and put your time if suppose i want to put this time 2020 yes. suppose 1st january uh, 
from I take the one year data suppose 2020 December 31 so this is my time period so now if you want to check about that suppose um, how much images are available between this time so just put the data set and use at the size function so now it computing how many images are available between this time we can get the 365 so it's the daily so data daily daily data daily so that's one. why uh -huh. yeah that's how we can every single day we got a one image okay so this is the daily data we can easily get it from here and further suppose i want to uh, um, visualize this data or i want to make the time series chart if i make the time series chart then i can get what is the unit this unit is the millimeter okay this unit is the millimeter and you can see here this data set have a scale okay so basically when you find out this type of a scale any data set not only for that any data set this scale value we have to multiply with our images all of okay. images we need to multiply then we can get the uh, proper pixel value proper pixel value of this data set 0 0.1 so this is the scale of this data set we simply multiply so for multiply just i uh, make a function just use at the map and use at the function keyword and put the element name suppose emails and further in the curly bracket just my argument my argument is that i just return return this emails multiply return this emails uh, multiply with 0 0.1 and i want to apply all of uh, imagery total 365 so just use at the copy properties function i copy this properties from this emails and apply uh, system time start to system time in okay so now it will be applied and now if i make the time switch chart or i if i make the map then i can get the correctly pixel of water uh, of evapotranspiration you can get the correctly pixel so now suppose i want to visualize this map suppose i want to visualize yeah. it for your study area Visualize, and then yes. check the result. Fujera, Fujera boundary. Yeah. So this is yeah. the Fujera. Emirate. Yeah, Fujera Emirate. Fujera I Emirate is that. there, no? F U J. Yeah, so this one. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just import. Yeah, that one. And I put this name suppose R uh, Y. And so now I want to make this time switch chart. So basically, when you make the time switch chart, then just no, no, no. we'll we'll display the map uh, first. Okay. Uh, so. For displaying the map, just take a variable. So basically, when I make the map, so this 365 images I need to combine. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because that will be average of uh, yeah, one year. Eh? Yeah. So what do we have to calculate the average? We calculate the uh -huh. average from total 365 images. So just 65. I put the variable suppose I mean ET and then I just call this data set and then yeah. just use a uh, mean function mean function and further yeah. clip with my study area which is ROI. Ah. So now display ROI. this result just map dot add layer, no, add layer. Yeah. and then call this uh, mean ET simply copy mean that ET. and paste here oh, yeah. and also uh, center view of this your boundary shape file just use a map to center object and call your ROI so now it directly focus on your study area and also load the layer so now it loaded okay we can get the gray color map because we not add any kind of color so we are just at the yes. color then we can get the more better map and okay okay so okay in this time they're not use any kind of color code okay so we randomly put the color okay so for adding the randomly color uh just i click on here yeah and then it's testing suppose 98 percent and further we try to add the color combination suppose just click on here plate it and where is the low i want to show suppose this type of so this type of color indicating the low then get at then i want to show this type of uh, okay so or you can also put here suppose low suppose red 
then greater than suppose yellow suppose greater than suppose green it is the high evapotranspiration potential sensations apply it so now it will be loaded okay so now here you can see we can get this type of pixel okay so now you can see here this map is not mass smooth it try about that pixel okay so basically you can get the grid because this resolution is not much good this pixel area is very very high we can find out the pixel area you can see uh 80924 meters so that's how oh, you can okay. get this type of razor as a grid okay as a grid suppose you find out that it should about that uh, high value about that okay so that's why this yeah. data set is okay when you apply it for the big study area okay suppose whole country boundary of the arab emirat then we can yeah. easily get that more better result but but uh, uh, mr raman when we are starting it the, the in the in the data sheet it says it is around 250 meter resolution see uh, once open that uh, catalog yeah okay that time it let me check okay so i think it's the another data set or daily vapor reference evapor transpiration see uh, just uh, uh, see 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 yeah continental so, level resolution 250 meter yeah so it also okay just click on here okay the new set of vapor that, that are now accessible for earth engine are part of the continental level resolution at the okay and actual evaporation okay so net primary production okay so vapor okay so let me check all of vapor data set and your i think down data. you have something uh, i think some data being issue let's start here okay so we can get this data we already check it preference evapotranspiration 2.0 so we try to check the actual this data set just like open it so this data check the resume. yeah so this is the okay so this is the data yeah so this is the uh, i think this is the correct data about that we can get the 248.2 meters and this is the yeah, actual i think we can, we can we have to replace this one yeah yeah so just simply snippet, replace it snippet. then we can get that more better result simply copy this snippet uh, id from here and then uh just change it just simply paste here and also check the band name about this data set so this is the this is the band name and it still is the same 0.1 so just simply change the band name also okay so now try to run the code again so now i hope we can get the more better map and now set the color okay so let me check if there provide any color or not okay so it's also not provide any color so just you set the random color just click on here yeah okay just apply the most slow so this type of yellow greater than show sure about that then put at that high this type oh. of green color and apply. okay so now it also more better map we can get it so here you can see we can get this type of razor so mainly this type of green color identify about that uh, high net evapotranspiration result we can find out from here this type of green color okay suppose if you want to check the other stressing level so let's click on here suppose i want to check uh, 90% stressing and check the visualization just apply so i can get this type of things suppose uh, stressing 3 sigma Okay, so now we can get this type of map here you can see so i think it look more better we can easily get it this type of green color identify about that high yeah. evapotranspiration value okay just simply import 
and further uh, copy this ID from here. So yeah, you can see about that. Just simply copy this variable name and paste after the object name. I put the ID. Okay. And this unit is the millimeter. If about transpiration, unit is the millimeter. And further, we can easily export and make it uh, made for arc power to this. As well as if you want to check about the uh, time series chart, when it will be high or low, this uh, data set, we can also check it from here. Okay, okay so do you have any question? Yeah, yep. it's, it's just fine. Uh, uh, we can also keep, can the, also keep the uh, output the function, output. no? Uh, yani export. Yeah, yeah. Export okay, so for exporting, it's very easy. Just we put here that yeah. uh, export image to drive. Right. We export it in our drive. So that's why you can 